Whether the military denies the foreign ministry or vice versa has no meaning. This is a big mistake that must not be perpetrated by officials of the Islamic Republic. For the latest on this story, let's go to Tehran with France 24's Reza Saya. Reza, in his remarks, uh, Ayatollah Khamenei did not call out Javad Zarif by name, but his target was very clear. What kind of fallout might there be from these comments? Well, th that remains to be seen. We're going to wait and see. But uh, Mr. Khamenei, the Supreme Leader supporters, like to describe him as a father figure. And like a father figure, he clearly rebuked Iran's uh, Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif over this audio tape that was leaked last week, where uh, Mr. Zarif had some very strong words and criticism uh, targeting Iran's uh, revolutionary, uh, revolutionary Guard. Now, keep in mind, Mr. Zarif, is one of the most prominent political figures here in Iran. He's the face of Iranian diplomacy. He was the lead negotiator in the nuclear talks back in 2015. He is the lead negotiator in the current talks in Vienna, uh, the effort to revive the nuclear deal. His job, his duty in many ways, is to project Iran as a unified country with a unified message. But that wasn't the case with this audio uh, tape that was leaked in it. Uh, he says that the Revolutionary Guard often worked against his efforts to improve relations with the West, uh, against his efforts to establish uh, diplomacy. When it comes to the late uh, General Qasem Soleimani, he said there were times where Mr. Soleimani had demands for him to take to the negotiations and ask of the Western uh, signatories. Essentially, Mr. Zarif saying uh, that oftentimes the military policy and the goals trumped uh, diplomacy. Uh, this tape was reportedly part of a project to document President Hassan Rouhani's presidency. It was not meant to go public. Obviously, it did. Mr. Zarif on his Instagram account issued an apology saying he didn't meant, mean for them to go uh, public uh, either. Whatever the case, uh, this is a development that airs uh, Iran's dirty laundry. And in many ways, uh, reveals what many suspected about Iran, that Iran is not a monolith, that they are centers of power, vying for power. Some of them want diplomacy and better relations with the West, and some of them like elements within the Guard that don't. Reza, now all of this is coming as the Vienna talks on Iran's nuclear program are taking place. There's a presidential election coming up there next month in Iran. What kind of effect might all of this, these new tensions, have on that? It, it's hard to say. We're going to have to wait uh, and see. When it comes to the, the Vienna talks, there's no indications that they've had an impact uh, yet. Uh, Mr. Zarif is still the lead negotiator and no indication that Iran has changed its policy. They still want the nuclear deal uh, to be revived. Will it undermine Zarif's uh, position going forward? It's hard to say. And when it comes to the presidency, Mr. Zarif had denied that he wants to run uh, for president, but there were reports that he might, if he wants to, uh, this would seemingly make it very difficult for him uh, to run after comments where he criticized the, the, the powerful revolutionary uh, uh, guard. But we'll have to wait and see. Reza, thanks for that. France 24's Reza Saya reporting from Tehran.